Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven. In today's video, I will show you guys a review of Team Viewer Eight. Um, if you don't know what Team Viewer is, I'll be introducing you what it is and how it is beneficial. If you already know what it is, then I'm showing you guys um, some updates. So, what Team Viewer is, it is a program that allows you to uh, connect to another computer and basically control a screen, watch it, do anything like that. Obviously, it is a legal program. The other person is giving you permission to control our screen. It is free for private use. It works on Windows, Mac, Linux, and iPad, iPhone, and Android devices. Some of the new features are it does support retina, retina display for the Mac devices. Um, it does support, have a new Windows 8 com compatibility for the Windows 8 tablets. And it also does have some new touch gestures and more touch user interface. Um, it also does have a better connection setting, so we should see faster uh, improvements, no lagging. In the end of this video, I will be doing a little um, test. So what I'll do is I will take my desktop computer and connect it to my laptop, and I will show a video of how they work and um, how to set it up. So to set it up on the on one of the computers, obviously it has to be set up on both computers for it to run. So Go on each computer and download it using the tab right here, which can be downloaded in the description below. Then open ahead and open the link. Or open the download, sorry. And go ahead and click, uh, you have two options here. So you can install it on the computer and you can run it without, uh, installation. I'm going to go ahead and just install it. So I'm going to choose, uh, personal non commercial use. So you gotta accept both of them that you only use it for non-commercial and then you have to accept the terms. So you can go ahead and just let the default and then go ahead and let it install. Shouldn't take too long. And we should see now we have Team Viewer 8 right there. Alright, so now what happens is it's gonna come out like this, and uh, this is our program. So we're going to get a ID, partner ID. This is because I've already done some, so um, that's it from my old one. So your ID is never going to change. Um, it's going to be the same throughout. But your password does change. By clicking this arrow, right, this little here, you can create a new random password. Or you can, what you can do is you can set a personal password. So what you use by setting a personal password, so you can maybe put it the same as your computer, it's going to basically allow the person to connect whenever you want. I usually do this so that while I'm at school, I can bring TeamViewer to school, open it up, and then uh, connect to my computer at home. Without, and I know that I know the password because now the password is always the same. I can give it a name or something that no one else knows. I can sign in. I can do my work at home while at school. So in the feedback tab here, we can just go ahead and email it. Uh, with the help tab, which is just going to give us some help information. Options here. We have a display name. We have the option to start with Windows. This is useful because now, before you uh, leave, you can basically turn on the computer and leave. It will automatically start and um, allow you to connect to your computer whenever you want. So like I said earlier, our personal password is for unintended access. So basically it's for you trying to connect to your own computer at a different location. You can set a password up and I'll do that. Um, here we have some pa random passwords, so for spontaneous access, which is this one right here. So by default, it's going to be four characters. You can set it up so it's going to be more. Um, I would not suggest going disabled. That's kind of a dumb idea. So what you can do is you can allow Team Viewer to have access to your computer. So what you can do by that is it will restart and actually we restart with your computer and log in for you and kind of be on the desktop already. Again, this is for when you're kind of out of town or at school or at work and you want to connect to your computer at home. So quality, this is going to basically allow you to, by default, it's going to choose one for whatever you have. Um, you can have it choose remote wallpaper. This is going to help with your speed. You can show your cursor's partner, which is I suggest, and you have some other options. Meeting, 
and we have some other stuff. So like a microphone right here, video, and you can go ahead and do a custom invitation. But anyway, once you set it up, you can go ahead and uh, start. Go ahead. So you can go ahead and start using it. So what I want to do is I'm going to set up my other computer, and we'll, I'm going to come off the camera here, and we're going to show you uh, some real life scenario. All right, so now we're outside of the computer. Sorry for the crappy quality. But there's my computer, and then my laptop, my old one. As you can see I have it running. I have a different ID, different password. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect the two so that we can get it in. I typed in my partner ID. I can connect. It's going to ask you for the password. So now I'm going to go over there on the other computer. You can see that it gives me my random password. I'm going to type that in there. And what it's going to do is it's going to connect me. Now, uh, I am running Windows 8 on the desktop and Windows 7 Ultimate on the on the laptop. So uh, this is between two different operating systems. We're going to see it work. So once I hit login, it works immediately. Um, there is no background because my default is set off. But I'm going to go ahead right now and enable that. All right, so now you can see we have this here. And so you can see when I open up the start menu uh, there, and it's open over there. So I'm basically now controlling it from my desktop and now I do a little test to see the lagging and it is pretty good um, there are some slight lags a bit sometimes but this laptop is pretty old and it has a crappy uh, internet connection so it isn't bad overall though TeamViewer is a pretty great program and in the corner here we have some options like the uh, voice over IP which allows us to talk to the other person we can also chat and turn on the webcam so we can kind of see them kind of do a video chat you can see right here, I type in a message right there, and possible on this side, I can talk to them. Overall, it's a great program though. Anyways guys, that's what it is for this program. Um, you can go ahead and check it out in the description below. And besides that, have a great day. This is Dr. 7 and I'm signing off.